Are you planning a trip to northern Argentina and you want a list of fun things to do when you get there? Some of the common attractions in this region are the Pucara de Tilcara Permamarca and the Hill of the Seven Colors. In this video, we will look at seven of the best things to do in Salta and the region of San Salvador de Jujuy, Argentina. Number 7. Trek in the Huayra Caves the Waira Caves in Tilcara are mountainside caves that promise you a day filled with unforgettable scenery. However, this is not a trek you want to do alone, as the route can be challenging without a guide, so take that extra step to arrange the hike in advance and prepare accordingly with sunscreen and lots of water. To get the best out of this hike, you need to have a proper checklist to ensure that nothing ruins your experience. While this may not be the easiest trek in the world, the rewards, which includes stunning views of the dark caves and the trails that test your limits, make it worth considering. The Waira Caves also have an interesting history, as they were the perfect spot for people to hide during wars and different forms of conflicts in the past. An experienced guide will tell you all about this as you navigate the rocky paths of these historic caves. I could hint at some of the legends and myths surrounding these caves, but where's the fun in that? You sure should experience them firsthand. Number 6. Explore St. Rosa's Church A city tour around Permamarca in Jujuy is incomplete without a stop at St. Rosa's Church. This picturesque chapel became a national historical monument in 1941, and it's not hard to see why. It's adorned with breathtaking adobe walls and simple yet classic architecture that tells wonderful stories. St. Rosa's Church is also home to hundreds of Cusco paintings, and images that have been within its walls for several centuries. The first set of construction work for the chapel was done in 1648, and this is what set the tone for the entire architectural style of the surrounding village. After spending some time at this chapel, you can end the splendid day with a trip to the main square, filled with thousands of handicrafts, including dishes, musical instruments, ponchos, and quilts. Indeed, this is a great place to buy souvenirs, especially colorful, wide-brimmed hats. Looking for an amazing place for a delicious meal? You can find that in the main square too. I will recommend opting for the empanadas, stuffed with goat cheese, meat, and charqui, which you can find easily at the local stands. Number 5. Hike Around Los Colorados The phrase Los Colorados simply translates to red hues in English, and this is a perfect name for an area filled with all the red shades you can imagine. Indeed, the best way to experience Los Colorados in Permamarca is to hike around Cerros Colorados. Be sure to have some water along because this will be an energetic walk where you'll have to be constantly alert so you don't miss out on anything. The paths are well defined and it's always best to do this hike in the morning when the weather is fresher and you can witness the colorful views of the rocks you will see the intense hues of several rocks on the trail just as you walk behind the seven-color hill known locally as Cerro de los Siete Colores. There's also a lovely high point where you'll get a beautiful 360-degree view of the surroundings, and the pictures here are amazing. The best part of the hike around Los Colorados is that it's the perfect time to appreciate the aromas and diverse hues of the area from a super cool spot. Don't forget to wear comfortable shoes and carry sunscreen. By the way, if you want to learn how to save money on airfares, then click the link in the description below. This guide teaches you how to always get the cheapest flights. Number 4. Enjoy a bowl of empanadas. You can surely find some of the best restaurants in Argentina at Tilcara, so it's best to take advantage of your trip here to enjoy a bowl of empanadas. A taste of the regional cuisine will take your taste buds on a captivating journey, especially with the stew of corn and meat, known locally as empanadas locro. You can pair this with llama meat, umitas, which is corn pudding, and dried salted meat, known as charqui. If you want the complete local setting while being served your delicious dish of tamales, llama steaks and goat cheese, a great spot to visit is the El Patio. You can also enjoy interesting live music alongside your meal if you visit the Arumi, no matter where you choose your meal in Tilcara, you can rest assured to get the full experience of a tasty meal alongside bubbling customer services that will keep you wishing to come back for more. Number 3. Dance at a local peña Indeed, 
Northern Argentina is a land brimming with culture and tradition, and this shows in almost everything within the region, including their style of music. On its part, Umawaka is a hotbed of traditional music, and the best place to get a huge dose of live folk music is at the communal gathering known as a peña. The city's nightlife is worth exploring, especially from 9 p.m. when storytelling and dancing begin. So you'll be in till the late night, but as soon as the music starts, best believe that you wouldn't want to leave. If you spend more than a few nights in this city, you shouldn't leave without this experience. Places to check out for this experience include the Aicito and La Peña de Fortunato Ramos. Number 2. Wine Tasting at the Calchaquis Valley A trip to Salta in Argentina won't be complete without a stop at the wine-centric town of Cafayate. Surely, you can make the most of this experience by joining the buses to the town where you'll get a lovely view of the countryside. But then, if you want a more laid-back trip, you can rent a car for a small fee and get an even more intimate experience. Your best bet is to take the Quebrada de Umawaka route, and words don't do justice to how amazing this drive is. I dare to say it's one of the best in Argentina and will lead you to the Calchaquis Valley, the second largest wine production center in Argentina. By the way, this is where the white wine produced from the Torontes grape reigns supreme. Of course, the wine tasting is not all there is to this journey. This is because you can also pair it with tasty meals at guest houses or restaurants close to the main square in Cafayate. Round up the day with a walk around the vineyards next to the town. If you're feeling adventurous, you can even ride a bike around. Number 1. Go rafting down the Juramento River. What better way to spend the weekend than a day of adventurous whitewater rafting down the Juramento River in Salta. This is a weekend favorite for many locals, and the best spot for it is at the Cabra Corral Dam. However, this dam is located about 80 kilometers away from the city, which includes a little journey that is definitely worth it. This adventurous destination is also perfect for some bungee jumping if you've got the heart for it. However, if whitewater rafting is more your style, you can explore the Class 2 and 3 rapids in the Juramento River. To avoid mishaps, you can join the briefing on water rafting safety measures before you set off. Finally, if you've got the heart for more activities and it's a nice day, you can end the day by hiking the trails around the reservoir. Who knows, you may actually find some dinosaur footprints. This is also a great spot for horseback riding and fishing for rainbow trout. Click this video over here for more tips while traveling in Argentina.